There is a lot of conversation about using AI and neural networks in art lately. One direction this technology is evolving in is producing better looking upscaled images. The software has to pretty much paint in the details that weren't there originally, which requires some training. We've seen algorithms like y double x in the past, then there was ESR again, and now the latest iteration is real ESR again, which attempts to make the original technology better suited for dealing with real-life use cases. And while today's video is supposed to be about two free Libre user interfaces to real ESR again, I think it's important to show results side by side independently from end user programs, because they all use the same neural network engine. So the only difference between upscale and upscaler is the user interface. Well, that and they are just a few letters apart. So I picked two examples. The first one is originally a raw photo. I exported a low resolution version of it from Darktable, so here are the results. The original one is on the left and the processed image is on the right. Let's see. Vegetation. Very nicely done. Real ESR again did a formidable job to try adding details here. The cliff shore is ok. The mountain ridge has a bit of a halo here, so it made the pre-existing chromatic aberration actually worse. And the health on the hill here is fairly impressive. So this is mostly good work. Now let's process a screenshot from Super Mario. And right off the bat you can see quite a few things that are seriously, if not disturbingly wrong. Mario looks like he's been in an industrial accident, a really bad one. Which, now that I come to think of it, pretty much sums up his life so far. You can also see the halo here. So just like with the photo, the halo artifacts seem to be getting increased. And then the turtle scarepex is messed up, and the cloud got its blue bits blackened. But the rest is very nicely upscaled. Now on to the user interfaces. This is Upscaler, created with GTK4 and Rust. You can build it from source code, but it's also available on FlatHub, which is where I got it from. Let's maximize the window and pick an image. You instantly get the original image size and the final image size, which is nice but also kinda expected. The only option is whether this is a photo or a cartoon. And yes, you should absolutely specify the destination file name. You won't be able to upscale anything until you do. So let's upscale and I'm cheating here by speeding up the video because I am running the program on a very low-end Intel GPU that is mysteriously supported by Vulkan. So upscaling works, but it takes more time than I would want you to wait. The exporting is done. Upscale is showing me the message and allows quickly opening the resulted file. And yeah, it is all good. As you can see, there really isn't much of a user interface to review. It's all very straightforward. Just one setting, just one button, and it works. There are a few caveats, however. The workflow demands that you specify the file name, otherwise it won't work. I think it would be sensible to default to the same folder where the original image is, and then to prepend or append a word to the original file name, like file name underscore upscaled png. It would be nice to have a way to compare the image before and after scaling, because people really do it and default image viewers don't usually make it easy as you've just witnessed. And then batch processing sounds like something you would really appreciate this kind of a program to be able to do. Moreover, once you already have an image loaded into the progress window, you either have to use the hamburger menu here to open a different one, or you have to press Ctrl-O. Which is okay, but I think everyone is now getting used to having some on-canvas button or drag-and-drop area, which is currently unavailable. But hey, I made a feature request, so let's see. Upscale. This is an electron based program, it's available as an app image built on Linux and it looks like its developers want to make it available on FlatHub, but they need help with that. Anyway, Upscale immediately ticks one of the boxes I have for Upscale with the batch mode here. It has three rather than two types of processing which are general photo, digital art and sharpened image. So it gives the original image size, but adds details, and for some reason this is the slowest mode of all. Upscale allows to double the size of the resulted image, which I think it means it processes the processed file the second time. This option is not available in the batch mode, probably because it makes the program really slow, and it gets hidden when you select the sharp mode, which makes sense I guess. Let's upscale the photo you've already seen, and I'll cut to the chase for obvious reasons. 
Now, the great thing about Upscale is that it has before after image comparison built right in. Left is before, right is after, and you drag the curtain left and right. Rather than requesting target file name from you, Upscale simply reuses the original file name and appends a few words to describe what changes were done. So you can see here that this version is a 4 times upscaled variation and this one is a sharpened variation. You can also load a different image just by dropping it from a file manager. So all the things I can think of right now that I would want in Upscaler, this program has them. The only thing that I would love Upscale to have would be showing original and target image sites somewhere conveniently. Again, feature request filed. The roadmap for Upscale also said that upscaling videos is one of the next targets. And judging by what I see in commits on GitHub, this is being worked on right now, which is exciting. I think it makes sense to have this kind of a tool integrated into other programs, given Krita are obvious choices, not in the least place because they already have third-party solutions for integrating other AI tools. But something like BRef would probably also benefit from this, because when you collect references, sometimes some of those references are just tiny images that would serve their purpose better were they upscale. And finally, this is a shout out to one of my readers, Tobias, who tipped me off about upscale. Well, this is it. Thanks for your time. I hope you liked this quick video. See you soon.